So after a few hours of uh, dinking around with this thing, I got it so it turns over and it's not firing. I got juice in the distributor. I can see sparks down there and I can light up my tester. I'm waiting now on um, plugs, distributor cap, and rotor. And they're not going to be here till Monday. But here it is. I bought this from an old man up in Chester at a junkyard, and he told me that he bought this truck when he was a freshman in high school. So, um, this is a 1947 uh, um, guy who's probably maybe 10 years older than I am. Well, I'm maybe six, seven years older than I am. So, um, he probably bought this in 1962 or 63. But if I can get it to start firing, I think it'll, I think this thing will run. It spins over pretty nice. I can turn it by hand with the plugs out of it. Um, don't know if I'm going to get the putter with it tomorrow because I'm going to be working on this truck over here that I bought two days ago on Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday, I think. This is a 1959 Ford. Might be a 60. Don't know. The paperwork's fucked up on it. Um, it's obviously a 59 or a 60, but the registration says it's a 65, which is totally wrong. But this was a, originally, I believe was a United States Air Force truck. It's got a it's got a federal tag on it right there. It belongs to US government and it is Air Force blue on the inside. Been repainted yellow. Some county sticker right there. So it went from US government to county government at one point in time and then um, this also is a junkyard buy and um, I got another one at the junkyard that I got to get the money for, get it paid for, and get it picked up. It is a 1951 or 52 Chevrolet with a long bed and a tilt box on it. So, um, I bought three cars this week. Uh, that's my birthday month, so, um... I'm using that as an excuse. <laughs> All right. This is uh, Classic Car Collector Glenn at Uncle Wilma's Orland Farm. And uh, it's Saturday, the 10th of October, I think. And I'm going to go in and make myself some dinner. Sandblasting the chassis on that yellow cab right there, getting ready for paint and reassembly. That one there was an impulse buy. It's a 1962 long bed fleet side, one owner truck, pretty nice little truck. So I'll try to keep you up to date on some of this junk I got going around here. So this is uh, Car Collector Glenn. At Uncle Bubba's Orland Farm, over and out.